Shortcut 2.0. We now have a shop page just like this and we also have product page. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything in detail. So definitely warfare is on the way between WooCommerce and Shortcut. And even though the pie is bigger and bigger year after year and there is room for everyone, well, people will need to make a choice. It's either on WooCommerce or Shortcut to build their business. So let's be realistic here. And I think there is a fight going on between Shortcut and WooCommerce. But at the same time, there is definitely room for everyone. Let's go under the hood and discover what Shortcut has to offer for this new version. So it's going towards physical products for sure, but we don't have all the settings we need to cope with physical products yet. So don't think you can start right away and use Shortcut to sell your physical products. It's not the case. It's still the best product in the market right now to sell um, courses or coaching or any kind of digital products but not yet for physical products, right? But it is for sure laying out the foundation we need for physical products, uh, starting with shop page like this. So a very uh, straightforward, straightforward shop page. We have uh, the product page, we have uh, the cart obviously, and we need for now, uh, for like for instance, how to manage inventory or how to handle shipping, for instance. So how does this work? Uh, let's go for a quick round. Uh, I have the first instance here, yoga workshop. So this is the first instance of what a product page looks like. So you have a short description like this. You have a quantity uh, input and you can remove it. I can show you later how you can remove it. Add to cart name. You also have a duplicate. Probably the first time you install shortcut, you will have the name of the product right here and I can show you how to remove it. It's up upon your theme. So you, it's either you use, I don't know, Astra, Cadence theme, or another one, and you just need to remove the page title basically. So this is a first instance. Then we can go for a new, another one here. For instance, you have more options. For instance, you have the different pricing. You have the, all the different pictures just beneath and you can put something right here as well i can show you that it's about templates so you make you need to understand the difference between how to put content on your product page and in your templates uh, i get to that in a minute so if we start from here i can edit the page because we have a shop page from version 2.0 if you go to the pages you will have a shop page right here if we click on edit we have a few options which are very handy from the start. So it's a very beginning. We will have a lot more, I think, in the weeks and months to come. But you just click on the grid and you will have many options on your right. So you can play around with columns, how many products you have per page. Do you want to pagination or not? Do you want to show the filter settings right here? So I can toggle this off because in this example, it doesn't make sense. Uh, same for the search box right here, the search bar. So I toggle this off. You have the pagination font size. We don't have any pag pagination here. And you can handpick the product if you need. If you don't want to have a, just a generic shop page, but you want specific products here, you can handpick the product just here in select a product. You also have more options regarding the layout. If I click on here, edit the layout, you will uh, end up in sort of a, a loop item builder, so to speak. So here you can manage the product image, the product title, the product price. And I think eventually we will have more and more options coming here so that we can just put some items and do something more customized for your own needs or store. But if we play a little bit with what we already have, I have the aspect ratio right here, which is very important because you can drag and drop yourself the ratio of your image to uh, best suit your needs. For instance, here it's a square, but uh, the first time you will install shortcut, it will be like this. And you don't have to have rounded corners as well. You can have something really squared. Uh, for instance, if I go for a square ratio and I want to remove the rounded corners like this, I can go on the style tab and below I have the radius. I put zero and we have something completely different. Even if I change the, the ratio, for instance, like this update and you see it's very, very different. 
Then you can select the title, you can select the price, and you will have a few options. For instance, the price is very interesting. You have the price range option. If you want to just show the lower price, the lower price on try, you can just leave it as it is. But if you want to go further and display a price range, well, you can use this option. And if I refresh, we will have here, we have a price range because I have different prices in this product. And of course, if you select the product title or the product price, you can use the style settings to change the color, change the size, uh, the font weight and so on. For me, I would have done it the other way in terms of font size and style. style. Uh, I would have done the title in bolder letters and the price below maybe smaller in gray and you get the point so it's up to you in the end because you have all the settings here into the style tabs so you can just uh, also um, modify the loop item a little bit and if you want to play with the different items and change the order you can then you click on done and boom you're done with the loop uh, builder uh, within the shop page now we can go for the product page i can click on one of these and we can click on edit product just like in woocommerce so it's very straightforward so because we have product page we have more options within shortcuts so the last few versions uh, within shortcut uh, there has been uh, more options regarding cards descriptions uh, images now we have metadata so let me show you so here it's still the name then you need the description which is useful for instant checkout which is another feature if you want to have well instant checkout ready to go um, descriptions is very it's a short one we saw together you have all the pictures here you can have one or a few and you have all the pricings here integration downloads this is all about shortcuts so i will cover shortcuts in detail in a um, complete tutorial but it's not about this video right now okay so we also have the search engine listing which is about is it your seo and it's very funny just feel something and as you can see you have the snippets right here so it's very very handy and i think it's in terms of user experience it's very easy to understand what this is about even though you you are not aware of what is seo and how does uh, search engine optimization works also this part is now a little bit different so it's a reminder of how wordpress is within pages and posts and you have the availability of your product you have the templates uh, which we'll get to in a minute and you have the url of course so you can change just here the permalink for your product then you can click on view product here i think it would be best to have less clicks to see your product page i would love to have i don't know like an eye an eye icon just here i click on the eye icon and boom i am on the front end of the product page it would be very nice okay so let's check together so like we said um, short descriptions and the image the name the price and that's it and if you add several pricing they will be displayed right here so for instance here it is the case i have several pricing and i have also many pictures so if we go to a product you can find all of my images and the different pricings over there if you want to change the permalink structure you can go into settings permalinks and you will find all the necessary details you can modify the default permalink for shortcut for instant checkout or products right here and if you wonder if we have access to the template products well we have and you will really notice at the same time that shortcut is definitely taking the path of full site editing so if we go into edit products we have a link that allows us to reach the template of this product page edit template here and then we are into full site editing even though you don't have a theme that is compatible with full site editing so it's kind of a middle ground i don't know if it's supposed to work this way but you can have access to the product template without uh, compatible uh, wordpress themes so here we are into the full site editing this is a template you can uh, move around anything you want. You can play with colors, typography. Uh, you have different settings. You can remove things as well. And if you sell, let's say, digital products, you would want to remove the quantity uh, input here. So you just need to come here, three dots, and remove product quantity. That's it. Uh, you have uh, the show price. If you don't want show price, you can toggle this off. And you would have only the labels, uh, different columns. So you can see that it is displayed in different ways 
depending of your column settings. So I think it's interesting. And you also have some settings about images, for instance, auto height. So it depends on the ratio of your image and how many thumbnails per page. Also, if you select the product add to cart button, you can go into the style tab. Oh, this is a bug. <laughs> bug disappeared. Oh no, it's still still there. Okay. And then you, it's, it is really new. It's, it's been released like two days or three days ago. So uh, bear that in mind. And you can just put, for instance, some radius and we will have rounded corners for the add to cart button. And you can, you can, you have the color, background, anything. Okay. And because it's a template, well, you can put something, for instance, if we use, oh, I click somewhere else. <laughs> and if we use a shortcut column and I click here, I can put, let's say some text. So I grab some lorem ipsum. I put it here. I click on save. And now let's go to a product page. And I have some text right here into this product page and also uh, this product page and also the other one because it's not about one specific product page, it's about the template. So you can modify the layout of your product page so that you can use maybe your favorite block tools uh, for Spectra or Cadence blocks and you could put some guarantees or anything else you want to just, well, modify and enhance your product pages. And just in case you are not aware of, but about this cart icon, it's kind of new also for shortcut and you can go into shortcut settings. And I think it's um, very, very crucial if you have, a, if you want to build eventually a physical product shop with shortcut, uh, well, you can enable the cart here and you have the cart icon. So you have two icons right now. I think they will allow us at some point to upload our own icon and the card icon type, you can have either the floating icon or the menu icon or both. So this is both. You have the menu icon here or the floating card here. And then you need to select the menu. So uh, if you have several menus into your uh, header, you have to pick one or uh, several. You can actually do several menus. You can select all of them here and position of cart is it on right or left and then do you want to always show cart even if it's empty do you want to have the cart icon that's it guys this, these are the foundations for physical products in shortcut i think it's uh, rather interesting also for digital products i would need more option there but it's a very very good starting point if you ask me I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, you should know also that it's the first time I do an English video, so I, I hope it's not too bad. It's not the first time I do tutorials about WordPress. I've been doing it for many years. I have a 40,000 subscribers channel in French, but now I'm starting uh, in English. So we will see how it goes. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like shortcut and also WooCommerce and Astra ecosystem, Cadence ecosystem, blocks paradigm i will cover everything in this channel i want to go in details about so many topics so just subscribe to this channel if you want to encourage me to do more and i will see you in another video mm -hmm.